Hold on, I'm opening two. Okay. Um, hey boys and boys, it's Monday. Well, 10.35 at night. Sorry, um, college and I went rock climbing. It was pretty fun. Um, for one, I get a new haircut. Do you like it? Not me. Okay. This week is about passing. And this week's topic is about passing. And passing for me lately has become really heavy and small. Really weird. Um, but anyways, um, um, sorry if you can't hear me, um, I have a bad sore throat, I'm not sick, I think I'm getting sick though, but, like, it's really hard for me to talk, and I probably sound lower in this video, which makes me really good, but, um, passing for me is kind of hard, like, my chest-wise, it's fine, like, I can show you, like, you can't really tell, Huh, just like this. Like, you can't tell at all. Like, really? Because I wear two binders, so. I think I'm gonna get another one. I need another. But, um, it's hard to pass because I usually don't have a male voice. I usually don't like deepen my voice at all. And, um, I like to wear tighter pants but because i have really large hips it gives everything away so i have to wear like the baggiest pants i can with the tightest shirt that i want and it kind of throws everything off in proportion so i have to wear baggy clothes all the time which i don't like that and it really sucks sorry i thought my phone was fully charged so i was like you, you must be kidding me but huh Oh, it's so good. That's freaking good. Um, but, uh, it's basically, it's really hard because I want to pass, and it's hard for me to pass. Because I, um, I kind of talk like a guy. My chest, I appear like a guy. But everything else doesn't like my hair does now but my head is crooked my haircut is crooked because the barber did it sucked and I'm never going back to that barber again and I really don't like wearing baggy baggy pants all the time I like wearing more fitted clothes and it kind of sucks and I can't okay I have to bring up something though this is dumb for the acid man I posted a video on here about, I did, I actually was supposed to post this on my personal channel, but me being the dumbass that I am, I forgot that I was still locking down the boys and boys, and so it uploaded it to the boys and boys channel. I will keep it on here if people are okay with it, but if not, I'm going to, um, delete it and put it on my personal channel because that's what it was meant for was my personal channel i just didn't sign out of my webcam and i'm put it uploaded it today okay questions i feel really sad because hayden and xander and miles didn't make videos but college is hectic and they have lives too so i can understand that Alex asked if we were excited about the new Harry Potter movie. Yes, I fucking am. Since, um, for homecoming, my homecoming dance was, um, last week. Like, the whole week was, like, festive things. I went to the dance on Friday. That Friday. And I won Best Dancer, which kind of fucking was a shock. And I got two tickets to this movie theater in town. And, um, it said... It expires 30 days after it was issued. It never had a date on it. So I'm saving it to go see Harry Potter. Because I'm seeing it fucking midnight show along with Chronicles of Narnia and Paranormal Activity. Okay. So my question is, um, in spite of the recent events of the now six, six, I seriously thought it was five, but now it's six, six LGBT suicides. LGBT related suicides. How do you feel about that? Because I am in complete and utter shock that this happened. 
like, this is six suicides in a month. This isn't, like, six suicides in, like, a year. This is six suicides in a month. And two were in a one week. They were, like, three. It was, it's, like, really crazy that these young men between the ages of 13 and 19 would do this. And they were, like, spread out all over the country. And the one that, like, got me the most and, like, one the one that got me the most was the male was um the gay male from Rutgers. He was he was outed on Facebook and that was that was really heartbreaking to hear. Like reading reading his story and what happened. It was really heartbreaking to hear that like he would like bring he would like bring like guys back to his room and like he would like like um probably have sexual intercourse with them, probably have sex with them, I'm not entirely sure on that fact, but he would always bring them back to his room, and, um, I don't know, like, I think his roommate and a couple of his friends are, like, always gay, out of him on Facebook, and they added him on Facebook, and it was, like, really heartbreaking to hear that, and, like, his whole world was just, like, destroyed, because he wasn't out, and, like, everyone knew now, and it's really bad that he had to do that like he had to go through that and he couldn't stand it because losing like losing one person is hard enough losing six within a month is devastating like i go like my my heart and my blessings go out to all of those families who are dealing with that who are dealing with their kids um who are dealing with other kids like killing themselves over over lgbt related harassment and it shouldn't be done. And life does get better over time, but you have to make it the way that you want to make it. Like, I can't tell you what to do. I can tell you all it, get, it gets better over time, but for me right now, it's not getting any better. But that's because I'm not applying myself. I have to apply myself. You have to try. Because when you try, you'll get better. If you don't, you're going to be the same rut for, like, the rest of your life. Not really for the rest of your life. Well, until you make a change. If you don't make that change, that change is not going to happen. So that's my advice. And so that's my um my questions. What do you feel about how do you feel about the six LGBT related suicides? And um what was your favorite what was your most heart wrenching story? That was my two questions. Okay. Thank you.